What's up, YouTube? It's your boy Kendall back with another video. This video we will be going over week six. Six weeks I've been here at Snyder. Surprise, I made it this far, but we here. All right, we're gonna jump right into it. Um, low one, I came from the house. I was home because of my daughter's birthday, so I dad headed up to Stillmore, Georgia. From Stillmore, Georgia, we went over to Finley, Ohio. Um, the Stillmore, Georgia load was a live load. It took about an hour to load me. It wasn't too bad of a place, but the load was heavy. That load was about 41K, which I personally hate to do. Loads that heavy, but living in Florida, trying to get out the house, I had to make it happen. Um, I drove 755 miles to Ohio, and that load was a dropping hook. That load paid $1,612 to the truck. So, not too bad of a load, but load two, I deadheaded to Mason, Mason, Ohio, I think something like that. Don't murder me for that. Um, for a dropping hook load, that load was 5,000 pounds, so super light load. It was a uh, Frito-Lay chips, you know, they don't fill up them bags anyway, so you know, that's why I was light. Uh, I took that load over to Dallas, Texas. That was actually a couple days before Thanksgiving. So Thanksgiving, I was in the truck. There was a couple that came by, I think it was Thanksgiving night, and um, said they were dropping off meals for truck drivers. So that was nice of them. I appreciate the nice, the kind gesture. Um, so um, that load, of course, went to Dallas, Texas which was a drop and hook as well at the Frito Lay plant out there. That load was 1,158 miles and paid $2,291 to the truck. Not a bad, not too bad of a load, but what made up for it was it being super light. So didn't need to burn a lot of fuel on that load by any means. Load three, I did head it over to Fort Worth, Texas um, for a drop and hook load and that load was 36k um it wasn't ready when i got there but maybe like an hour hour and a half afterwards it was ready so they let me wait out front bobtail so that load i took over to pearl river louisiana which was a live unload at a grocery where i was thinking it was the associated groceries over there um they took a good little while they actually unloaded me within like the first hour but it took me i was there for five hours basically i guess they had to count it on top of me waiting for paperwork so um i did have to pay for a lumper there that was my first lumper load um just calling in to snyder um they have a lumper number which i didn't know at the time but i know now call in to them they give you the code to put into the app and it covers the lumper for you. Just make sure you get your receipt from that. Um, other than that, that's not typically my kind of loads that I like to do. I don't really like live on loads at grocery places because I know how that can be. But I did get a little bit of sleep while I was there. So, I mean, that worked out. Um, on top of that, when I got there, they gave me a door maybe like 15 minutes later. Um, go to back in the door, my lock. That Snyder gave me an orientation, the little gold lock seized up. So I wasn't even able to get that lock off. I had to get some bolt cutters, try to cut that off. It took forever. I got like cut halfway through. I had to ask the guy next to me, a Landstar driver, shout out to him. Um, he helped me get it off. So that took me like an hour. So that's probably delayed the process as well. But we made it happen either way. Um, other than that, that load was 537 miles, and that load paid $1,225 to the truck. So, wasn't too bad of a load, but I did get detention pay as well for being there for five hours, so not too bad. Um, after that load, I deadheaded over to Mississippi for a drop and hook load. That load was 26K, so not too heavy. That's kind of like right, right around where I like to be, between 20, 30K. I don't really like going over 30K. So that's where I try to typically stay. Um, I have been to this place a few times, so, so that's got to be like one of my favorite shippers. They're, your loads 
always already days before your pickup. So shout out to them. Real good place to pick up from. Um, that load I took over to West Jefferson, Ohio for a drop and hook as well. Um, that load was 581 miles and it paid $1,429 to the truck. So not too bad of a week. Everything, no loads canceled that week. Thank God um, everything actually worked out. Um, I was running on recaps that week. So that was kind of, that was my first time running on recaps. So it was kind of a tough week balancing everything the drives but nonetheless i made it work so um all loads came out to all loads plus 1600 of the revenue was eight thousand one hundred and fifty nine dollars what i meant by that 1600 of that was i got another payment of my eight thousand dollar sign on bonus so that's included in the eight thousand um I believe that's my second yeah I think that's my second payment so um, deductions was twenty six hundred and seven dollars um, of that twenty six hundred nine hundred and forty one of that was from the previous week for my truck payment because week five as I said in my last video week five I didn't I think I did one load so it covered most of my truck payment but it didn't cover everything so the remaining balance from the previous week came out of that as well so um my take home was five thousand five hundred fifty nine dollars and fifty nine cent after all expenses not a bad week but keep in mind sixteen hundred dollars of that money did come from my bonus so without that bonus my take home would have been three thousand nine hundred fifty one dollars which is still a good week i aim for around three thousand dollars minimum i mean things happen but like the previous week with my daughter's birthday so it, it just varies but for the most part that's what i aim for my gross points i typically aim for around six to sixty five hundred so and i pay for my own fuel i don't really i don't use the my snyder fuel car at all i mean fuel prices have dropped a little bit since I started because when I first got here fuel prices was over like 550 most places um, at this current point I think I seen diesel today for for actually I got diesel today and it was for I think it was 440 at the pump so with Snyder's discount this week it was 390 so definitely a major change in fuel since when I started so not too bad um other than that that's all i have for you on week six i appreciate you for watching like comment subscribe till next time peace